just going along here on the what's called the RM Williams Way, um, the Explorer's Way as well it's called. Um, about 25k we're going to turn off right and head into the Flinders Ranges Way. We've only got about 70k now to get to the Flinders Ranges, right into the National Park. We just saw our first emu. Yeah, first wild emu on the side of the road. We stood still though, it didn't run alongside us. This is it, the middle of nowhere now. We're out back in. <laughs> that is some scenery. In the Flinders, we stayed at Wilpena Pound, which is a national park camping ground, which is really good. First evening, we heard this commotion of all these goats, and um, yeah, this poor single female was just yeah having a hard time with all these males trying to trying to have a goat. But it was just non-stop. It was crazy. She kept trying to get away, but they kept following her, and it just went right into the evening. It was crazy. Beef teriyaki camping style. Just on the old Bunsen, little burner. Smells them brilliant. We're just over here now in the Flinders Ranges. So staying in this campground just at the bottom here, that mountain behind me, Tammy's just climbing up that this morning and then um, I'll have a crack at it this afternoon. Pretty steep climb up apparently, but all the way around here, amazing, just mountains all the way along, beautiful. What an incredible place. A kangaroo here, just busy munching. We're right outside the caravan. Couldn't get much closer than that. The monster. Go in that hole now. Stand up there. What's in there? Nothing. Everyone else has done it. There's a lot of ants. Why are big ants? What are you worried about? Stand there for your um, for your people. I can't get in it. What's wrong with you? That's just an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> Look, everyone else has been there. I can't get in there. Then jump down. Come on. Oh. <laughs> it's completely hollow. It's completely hollow. Oh, that's good. This is a beautiful scenic lookout. You've got sort of this volcanic sort of basin, what it looks like really. So it's surrounded by these mountains and then this savannah type area in the middle this big bowl with all the trees and the colors and the little sort of clearings as well it was just an incredible place really stunning no okay oh. here i'm gonna teach you again start again what? <laughs> what? i'm rolling so hold that nice and straight yeah and then come down with all your force at the oh bottom. okay yeah. so one I'm with you. and then Come down. Right, okay. right. Yeah, it's a power coming down. Right. Okay. okay. And all you do is split him right in the middle. Yeah. That's it. A bit harder, but mate, use some muscles. You might be able to ride a bike, but you can't chop timber. <laughs> Keep it straight. Alright? 
force coming down. Head, head hitting solid on. There you go. That's it. You got it, mate. You want to try a bit harder one now? Yeah. Right on. Right. This one's got no traction, so you're going to have to split him. There you go. You nearly got him too. Yeah. There you go. Hit the same that spot, mate. <laughs> He's done a rib, everyone. He's done a rib. <laughs> Safety boots, actually. There you go, mate. Well done. There you go. Ooh. Got one more chance. That's yes. all right. We've got it going now, mate. Put him to work, see? We'll be warm tonight. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Sweet. Woo! <laughs> that is a really good fire. Firebug. You're like, a the silly heart. Is just, oh my god. I told you. I told you. You say, how come we can't make that with our Jaffa Maker? Like there is nothing oh. better, oh. baby. Yeah. You have it's hand. Oh, you're recording. Yeah, that's perfect. It's called the trail ahead here when you come to go walk in and come to this point bit of safety information and then um if you got a signing in book you sign in and out so they know everyone's come back and all the different walks you can do up there so we're doing that one today mount olsen baggy basically straight up and down and then yesterday just did that one to the lookout and this afternoon time he's trying to do this there is peak the big one monster walk and then these are the views you get up at mary's peak so i can understand why she wants to do it looks amazing gonna be epic views and hiking again this morning up olsen baggy i don't know if you pronounce it like that but Really cool walk, like solidly up 3.7k for a lot of elevation gain. And then you get to this section here, which is just stunning. Bit of cloud cover today, but look at the base in there. It's just brilliant. Big ass mountains. Love those ones in the background. Just the colours through the back there. Just remarkable. And if I spin around, get into the wind a little bit, Ooh, if I just pop over here, and you can see right down to the bottom here, and then camps down, just down in the bottom left corner down there is camp. Pretty impressive, eh? Flinders Ranges in its full glory. Just on the way down here, and there's a few goats up in the hills. See them there, that white one and black one. There's a few others dotted about, a few more black ones over there. It's cool how they climb up here, right up into all the rocks. We have a strange thing here where it's sort of against, I think, the Aboriginal culture to remove timber, so they never clear any timber. So you can see here where trees have fallen in storms or just whatever reason. Just trees down everywhere. Right through this creek, it's obviously dry at the moment, but ridiculous amount of trees down all the way through here. It's weird. Some really good ones as well. Like we saw some real monsters yesterday. They'd be great for, for burning or making furniture or anything really. There's more there, massive pile up of trees. It was crazy. This is the bird I've been looking for this morning. Finally found it just at the end. Amazing colours in that, it's just beautiful. If he just wanders into the sun a bit. 
How nice is that? Just a beauty. You have brilliant trail signs here as well. All the way along you've got this trail list. So different colours, you just look out for the colours that you want to follow and all the names on there as well. So it's really good. It's a nice simple way to make sure you don't get lost. Good girl, it's okay. Just birdies. Just on a little morning cruise this morning, just um, from the Wilpina Pound Resort, just in in here and um, just on the Mawson Trail. Oh, it's also signposted the Hayson Trail, so it must overlap. But um, oh my God, the scenery is insane. Well, this is a trail here, a lot of single track, but look at them. There are the mountains. I think that's Mary's Peak up there. Pretty special. That's just beautiful, isn't it? Such a nice trail, this. It's gone sort of quite wide now, but it was all single track. And you just feel like you're the only person here. Like, to be fair, I probably am, but it's just nobody. So peaceful, so quiet. It is just stunning, but look at that view. All the way along. Can't get enough of that. That is magic. Just riding along the trail here. Come across what looks like some sort of mine shaft. Gonna have to go and have a look. Yeah, try and get your flash to work over the edge, see if there's a hole there. It doesn't Definitely. look like it keeps going, I don't know. I don't know, it might do in that corner. You reckon? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's weird in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But see, you don't know what opal, it could be opals, because I think this place was all opals. Um, I <laughs> Cropped on D. So you reckon these are just growing wild here? Yeah. How oh, crazy. Oh. That'll be sour as shit, but that's what they're eating yeah. then. That's what the emus are eating. I don't know. Yeah, well, that one there'll be good. Normally, these ones. Are Look! Good, right? <laughs> that's sour? Ah. Is it sour? Oh, it's is it? awful. Is it? Sour. So, yeah, it turns out these paddy melons are poisonous to humans, so just leave them for the emus. Up and down. We saw more wild emus when we went off road tripping with our new friends Paul and Lisa. They drove us around in their chimney, which was awesome. We went through Brachina Gorge and Parachilna Gorge, which were just spectacular. Just absolutely stunning gorgeways with massive rock faces either side. It was incredible. And then we yeah. saw this abandoned car, which car? turned out to be a rental oh. car, which won't go down very well. We're just in Parachilna here, just at the top of the Flinders. We've just literally driven epic drive right through that mountain range, right through the middle of it down there. Massive mountain range, awesome drive through, it's ridiculous. And this is Parachilna here. Here's the pub, the Prairie Hotel. Got a population here of five people apparently. But a really famous pub where you can get like a roadkill meal, emu, camel, and emu, camel, oh, and kangaroo. What do you want? Just, oh, yeah. Feral mixed just, grill. Can you see this? What have we got? We got. Hold on. We got brew fillet. She's down here. We got camel sausages. 
And then we've got Emu looks Rizzol. Like a, looks like Where's a the Rizzol in the middle? Emu Rizzol yeah, in the middle. Well, so yeah, we've got Rue, Emu and Camel there. Let's see what it's like. Right, Feral Meeks Grill. My favourite has got to be the Rue, Rue Fillet. So kangaroo. Kangaroo. And then... <laughs> that's the camel. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's, that's the Rue. <laughs> and then camel sausages. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty good as well. Least favourite though, Emu. It's alright, I'll eat it. But an Emu Rizzol. Not as good. Definitely the Rue Fillet. Rue Fillet is the way forward. They're all nice. Yum. <laughs> Anzac biscuit ice cream sandwich with coconut ice cream and Kwondong jam. <laughs> oh god. Mm. Cars down there. Just run up onto this ridge line. Look at this for scenery. Mind blowing. Here's the road on the other side down here. This is Blinman here, the highest town in South Australia. It's a pretty small place. Blinman Hotel. This is the Great Wall of China. Right the way along. You zoom in a bit. I'm five kilometers into my walk and there's no one else about. Feels like I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I'm doing the St. Mary Peak Trek and it's really pretty up here. I did accidentally go the reverse way. So I've just done just under 12 kilometers. And then I've got two left to go to get up to the top. And then I'll come back down the other side. So this is the magnificent view from the saddle. Wow, this is coming up to the peak of St. Mary and it looks amazing. Wow, finally at the top, just breathtaking, just feels like at top of the world. These views over the Flinders are just stunning. I've got a 360 degree view all the way around. the elder ranges here just south of where we've been staying at Wolpina. Again another beautiful ridge line. Stunning. And if we, even if we spin round up. There we are. Just making our way out. And then we've got the chase ranges just behind us there. And they just went on and on as well. They're in there and they go all the way out the back. You see the tips of them there. But the colours are just brilliant. I 
just here at the Jeff Morgan Gallery. So we've been recommended to come and see this, just in Hawker, so just south of the Flinders. And um, yeah, we'll go inside and have a look. So we're straight in here to these monster pictures. Oh, how cool is that? That's brilliant how they've built all the foreground. So you just can't even tell, can you? Artwork is monstrous. Just massive. You can't tell where the picture starts and the foreground <laughs> begins. Oh, there's stuff in all the cabinets, all different rocks and everything. And then you get up to this and there's a full 360 painting. Absolutely incredible. One of the Flinders. There's a collection of everything. There's even Rolls Royces in here. Silver Shadow. God, there's even a Model T Ford in here. That is bonkers. 1926. This is one painting, the full 360, all the way around. We're just in this massive room. There's noises in the background. It's got like eagles and stuff like this hanging up. What features, it's just ridiculously good. Flinders Rangers was absolutely amazing. Um, highly recommend it. We had some great hikes, bike ride, um, had amazing new friends just to teach us some extra new tricks as well. Yeah, thanks for Paul and Lisa. Really showed us the Australian way, which was great. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching this episode. Next episode is going to be across the Nullarbor. So, exciting times. So, we'll see you then. Bye.